Iron Erna and a $750 billion bounty. Matt Miller with another deal report. Today we turn to Norway, that lovely Scandinavian country full of fjords and oil fields. On Tuesday, conservatives led by Erna Iron Solberg emerged victorious in parliamentary elections. They defeated the eight-year leftist coalition government of Jens Stoltenberg. Solberg is widely expected to become the country's next prime minister. Uh, she earned her nickname for her hardline immigration stance as minister in a former government. But as prime minister, she must juggle her party's own desires to cut taxes and be more business friendly with a population that still demands the government ensure general welfare for all. But it's Norway's sovereign wealth fund that interests us. The ponderous sounding government pension fund Global is worth around $750 billion, which makes it the world's largest. That money comes from a 66% ownership of Statoil, the government's petroleum concern. Now during the campaign, Solberg suggested the possibility of dividing that fund into two, each with a particular investment strategy. That could have a monumental impact globally. Right now, the fund is divided 60% equities, 35% fixed income, and 5% real estate. And real estate is only gearing up. Its first investment took place in 2011. Indeed, on Monday, a fund affiliate said it would buy a 45% stake in New York City's Times Square Tower for $684 million from Boston Properties. Unlike its counterparts in Asia and the Mideast, the fund makes no direct or alternative investments except in real estate. The possibility of even a small percentage of that gargantuan fund targeting controlling stakes in companies a la Singapore's Tamasek or underwriting private equity such as Abu Dhabi Investment Authority changes the global calculus. To put Norway's funds in perspective, its equities holdings equal more than 1% of the world's entire stock of publicly traded shares. Now that's firepower. This is Matt Miller in New York.